Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw an ER diagram for airline reservation system. So if you don't know how to draw an ER diagram and what are the components of ER diagram, then I have added the video link on the upper right corner of your screen. So watch that video first. ER diagram for online airline reservation system is a visual presentation of entities and relationships of airline reservation system software database. So here I am taking only 6 entities, users, ticket, flight, payment, airline and class. So here users are customer and admin. So customer and the admin are the two parties which are allowed to have access to the database of the system and have different view level of schemas to the database information. Now let's define the relationship between all the entities. So there will be two relationship between user and ticket that is book and cancel. User can book the ticket as well as he or she can cancel it. Next relationship between user and flight will be user checks for flight. So after flight booking, user always checks for flight information and also at the time of booking, we check for availability, right? And flight has different classes like business and economic class, etc. So I'm adding has relationship between flight and class and there should be a relationship between ticket and payment. So I'm adding relation receive between ticket and payment. So ticket receive payment. Relationship between flight and airline will be flight belong to airline. So these are the relationship which I have defined in this six entities. Now let's see the cardinality ratio between these entities. So one user can book and cancel many tickets, right? So once we book ticket, we have to pay money. So for one ticket, there will be one payment or one total amount. And one user can check for different flight information and different flight availabilities. Next is flight and class. So one flight has different classes like economy and business etc. Last is flights and airline. So many flights belong to one airline. So this is the cardinality ratio between these entities. Now come to the attributes. So for entity ticket, I am adding 8 attributes. PNR number, seat number, flight number, passenger name, date and time, class, source and destination. And PNR number is the primary key here. So let's see the attributes for entity user. So first is user name and this is the key attribute. And second attribute is name. So here basically I am using composite attribute. So we have break down the name attribute into two sub attributes that is first name and last name. And we have used multi-valued attribute for mobile number because one user can have various contact numbers. Next is date of birth attribute. Here user age is a derived attribute as it changes over time and can be derived from another attribute date of birth. Next is address attribute. Here user address is a composite attribute as an address is uh, composed of other attributes such as pin code, state, country. And last is gender attribute. Now next is entity flight. So here flight number is the key attribute and we have six simple attributes that is uh, flight name, departure time, arrival time, source, destination, seat availability and distance. Next we have class entity. So for this we have three attributes flight number, fare and class type and flight number is the primary key. So here I am adding double line which means total participation. That is why it is also called as mandatory participation and if we add only one line then it is optional or we can say it's partial participation. So in a flight it is mandatory like flight should have different classes. So for class entity I am adding specialization. Specialization is a top down approach and specialization one higher level entity can be broken down into two lower level entities. So if you don't know about specialization and generalization concept then I have added the video link on the upper right corner of your screen. So click on that link and watch that video first. 
so class entity can be specialized as uh, economy and business class for airline entity i have added two attributes that is airline name contact number and here airline name is the primary key and last we have payment entity so for this we can add uh, three attributes transaction id amount and payment mode and transaction id is the primary key here so this is how you can draw an er diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add various entities and, and different attributes according to you and if you want to watch er diagram tutorial on different topics then i have uh, added the uh, playlist on the upper right corner of your screen as well as in the description box so you can check that playlist also so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos Thank you.